Hey dudes, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Tournament Mode. Alright, so we got some requests to play Corrin here today. We're actually playing through two tournament modes because, unfortunately, the only ones available to us were very short. But this gave an opportunity to play both female and male Corrin, so I thought that was fine. Yeah, alright. So I've actually been considering picking up Corrin. Funny enough, yeah, it's not random, right? Well, I really like how they play in this game. They have a lot of really good tools. All their moves link into each other like very, very well. They can just start combos out of nowhere. They have a kill throw. They have a projectile, a counter. All very good tools in this game. You can just be so obnoxious with Nair too. Like so obnoxious. All right, some people were actually talking about the skill gap that like you can see in um, tournament mode because it isn't ranked or anything. And while I agree it is kind of a bummer uh, that, like, you know, it's not ranked or anything, at the same time, you know, when you meet people in Grand Finals, like, they've also been, like, how many other people as well. So, yeah, it's really cool to see. It's cool to, like, beat someone and then beat someone who is just beating someone and so on and so forth. That's why it's kind of a bummer. It's, like, um, a smaller tournament, but... I still had a lot of fun. We actually did fight a lot of very uh, talented people here today. And you know, we all got to start somewhere. So, I didn't get it. I didn't get the JV. <laughs> I was like, I'm man, dude. Yeah, dude, I get some sick pins today. I can't wait to show this off to you. <laughs> yeah. Get a little antsy for the kill right here. But yeah, up air kills. F smash tipper is very powerful. Up throw. Like, Corrin has a lot of options. Yeah. They're really, really cool. I actually do own their game. I haven't played it, though. <laughs> I haven't got time. I still need to finish Awakening. There are just so many games I need to get to. It's a marvelous problem to have, honestly. Yeah. So many cool titles coming out, for sure. All these, like... Awesome remakes. I'm hyped for the Link Awakening remake, too. I think that looks so, so fun. All right, so we uh, ran into a Pac-Man player right here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone uh, stalled out the timer because I was waiting there for so long, what it felt like, yeah. that That's another bummer that, like, the games are so short. It's crazy how fast they go by because there's only two stocks. So it's like, games can just end just like that. Yeah, okay, so Nair probably should have initially converted to up tilt. Yeah, I probably could have gotten more out of it. Typically, you could like Nair to up tilt, or like Nair to down tilt on heavies, too. That was a funky looking grab. I, I think I was anticipating a roll right there, yeah. This Pac Man player certainly was giving me the runaround. Absolutely. And it was not landing my tippers either. It was, it was just like a little bit off. All right. But yeah, just throwing out the Nair, throwing out the hitboxes. He was catching me with these F smashes, dude. Dude, if that comboed into the Hydrant, that would have been so sick, bro. He actually got me, yeah. I'm still alive. Whoa, very close. Actually did hit me, but Uppy does have a little bit of armor to it, actually. As you can see right there, yeah. So, like, Corrin can be very hard to contest when you're trying to edge guard them. I think their only downside is they have kind of a hard time edgeguarding off the stage. Yeah, I think that's like my biggest gripe with them. Up throw will not kill quite yet. I wasn't entirely sure. I haven't put too, too much time in the coin, but... I think about like 160 should be around the time it should kill. Unfortunately, I missed my sweet spot. But yeah, as you can see, they made it so uh, their up B goes way further now. It's... Marvelous, yeah. Because that was one of their biggest problems. Is they just couldn't go that far. Oh, okay, so about 150 around. Around that ballpark will kill. How heavy is Pac-Man? Like, I would say medium, right? Yeah, Pac-Man having that marvelous Nair. That is one of the best combo breakers in the game. Yeah. There's a lot of really good ones, but... 
I'm getting scooped up by this man. That man is grabbing me. But yeah, as you can see, you can convert off of Nair into Thair, just like so. Alright, this time I'm actually anticipating the Nair. And, dude, that was so dope. That was such a dope drop zone pin, dude. I love that. So, I mean, like, they have that, which will catch a lot of people off guard. Because most people don't anticipate corn players to actually go off stage and uh, try to get, like, sick edge guards like that. But, yeah. I mean, it has so much reach. But I think that is where Corrin really does uh, excel. It's just holding on to stage. Like, they're not about going off stage, right? But they can certainly hold uh, center stage marvelously. Because they have so many... Uh, just giant hitboxes in all their aerials. Alright, so we actually ran into a uh, raw player right here. This person was very, very defensive. Yeah, I think they were trying to time me out, actually. Yeah, they were doing a lot of, a lot of unsafe air dodging. Yeah. At the same time, they were getting away with quite a few of them. I suppose my punish game is not too on point with Corrin quite yet. But yeah, I was thinking about putting more time into them because I think they're very, very cool. Oh, front throw, huh? I'm trying to cross up with Nair. Yeah, yeah, and Fair combos into itself very, very well. Yeah. I, I really shouldn't be going for up air at this percent. I should wait until they're at kill percent so I don't stale it. That was really unsafe for me. Landing directly on the stage like that too. That was pretty bad. I could have ate a punish and I almost did. But it's like these short games, I, I get so anxious. You know? And I don't think it'd be unreasonable to, at least for the finals of these online tournaments, have it three stocks with, like, you know, a little more time. Yeah, I, d I love hitting people with uh, Korn's jab as well. But yeah, you can get those sneaky pins off stage. Um, Wow, what a read for my opponent. Marvelous back air right there. But yeah, back air is very powerful with Corrin as well, as you can see. And it has that funky property where it actually kind of like moves them out of place as well. But yeah, you see how obnoxious you can be with Corrin. I love this character. Look at all of that. Look at all that damage. You just hold all that space to yourself. Yeah, narrative fair. Standard uh, Corrin stuff right here. Yeah. Very basic. I am still very new to the character. Yeah, and pin is powerful. Pin kills. Uh, yeah, going with a falling up air because it has like little to no end lag. But yeah, as you can see, it does kill. They actually buffed it recently. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so we got a nice little victory uh, with Corrin. We only had to win three fights in a row, so it wasn't too hard, but... At the same time, I really do love this idea of, like, we're finding the best people of that side, you know? Yeah, I definitely am seeing, like, a fluctuating, uh... Oh yeah, look, we got the legendary Pokemon Arceus and the legendary Pokemon Celebi. <laughs> Getting all the minds. Yeah, I do love this idea of just fighting uh, people that have earned their spot, you know? And it's cool when you actually do get some of the bigger tournaments. You, you see that power of your opponent getting better and better with each opponent that you go through. Yeah. I think it's actually a very interesting concept. But yeah, we're playing as the uh, pink horn skin right here. Another kind of like smaller tournament. I actually got this very late at night, so maybe that's why. I, I think the less people that enter, the smaller they make these tournaments, so we're not waiting in queue for a uh, very long. Yeah. Alright, but right here we're facing a Piranha Plant player. I've actually heard a lot of Piranha Plant mains have been doing very good in tournament. I think people have somewhat underestimated this character, and I think this guy is a very good uh, example of how you should play Piranha Plant. Yeah, he was keeping up BA very well and just uh, playing to Piranha Plant's strengths. Yeah, dude, Neutral B is a great combo breaker. Look at that wall for my opponent. 
Look at so much damage. Didn't they buff uh, Prana Plant's uh, up throw as well, I believe? So I think I actually may be in kill range here, like soon. I really couldn't tell you. I need to look into that. Yeah. Oh wow, very dangerous for me. Okay. Nair to uh, try and throw out an aerial right there, yeah. Oh, that will kill. Yeah, Tipper F smash is very strong. But you have to space correctly, which can be very hard. Okay, so now I'm just kind of playing their game. Instead of approaching their very dangerous uh, projectiles, I think this is where Piranha Plat struggles. Is when uh, they're not in the lead and they can't hold their position, you know? So, yeah. I think in these kind of situations, yeah, wow, that killed. Because I hit him out of the neutral B, that's crazy. Nice bear for my opponent. I think once I started throwing out projectiles, it kind of mixed this guy up a little bit. If you're playing Piranha Plant and you're behind, you should still play Cappy. IMO. I think you need to stick to your guns. You need to stick to your game plan. Yeah. I, I, don't, I just don't see this character as being one that has the tools to actually get in. Uh, yeah, and that actually killed. I was surprised when it happened. I was like, wait, that killed? <laughs> there was no fanfare and nothing about it. <laughs> he just kind of vanished. Oh, yeah, you can see Corrin transforming into her uh, cool dragon form right here. It looks really cool. I like how it's pink, too, because we're using the pink alt skin. Alright, so we ended up, uh, oh, check it out, two Bayos and two Ganons actually, uh, made it into this tournament right here. What are the chances of that? I've been playing a lot of randoms with my friends, and we've been getting the same character <laughs> when we play randoms together, like, sometimes twice in a row. Isn't that crazy? With, like, all the amount of characters in this game. Yeah. Alright. Was just playing Gandorf a little while ago. Very fun character. Let's see how they open. Hmm. I actually could open with the plasma and hit them with it. I anticipating them to, well, anticipate that and actually jump. That's why I rush. In this matchup, you want to box out the Gandorf player to the best of your ability. Oh, damage! Hold that thirty percent. <laughs> Terrible punish for me. Yeah, I don't like my down air either. Trying to space out these tips. Oh, they actually claimed with this uh, down B right there, yeah? That's the thing about Gandorf. Really, in any matchup, you gotta respect his space. But don't respect it too much. It's kind of hard to explain. You gotta box him out to the point where he can't hit you with any of his aerials. And he has to like, you have to force an approach with his, uh, with his like, you know, down B and then just punish accordingly, really. This is one of my favorite things to do to people in this game, is hit them with Corrin's down air. It's so satisfying. Poor Kandorf player. Good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I really like this character. I've grown very fond of Corrin. I, I think they're really fun. Alright, so we made it to another, uh, <laughs> three fight, uh, grand final right here, yeah. <laughs> Against, uh, another Gandorf player right here, but this isn't any Gandorf player, dudes, this is Wolves. Picks versus Wolves. This guy was pretty good. This guy had the right idea going on, but he did a couple things that I didn't agree with. That green, goopy-ass Gandorf. Let's see how he opens. Dash dance, very patient. He was doing a lot of dash dance. So now I'm forced an approach with the plasma. Okay, claim. Bad trade in my part, yeah. Gee, he was very, very, very patient Gandor player. That almost hit too. That was very close. What? Right. Yeah. See? Retreating fair for my opponent. Exactly how she played this character. Yeah, bad DI right there, so I got a lot of damage off the jab, actually. 
Because I held it for a little longer. You gotta remember that, dude. When your opponents uh, don't TI properly, you got to punish them. And continue your rapid jabs. Smart of him to grab ledge. Ooh, that was a sick pin. That was mad sick, dude. Okay, so now I can play uh, a little more defensively. Oh, I'm still going in. Okay, front throw. Let's see, I, I'm trying to set up the dunk off stage. Yeah, retreating aerials. Trying to play very safe. Yep, see, fair to fair. Nice, win for the air dodge. I like that. Fair is a marvelous tool with Corrin. Little to no end lag. If you time it correctly. Ah, oh, I went for it. Oh, okay, well, he actually saved me with the upbeat. I was a little off, yeah. Well, yeah, retreating. Just throwing that hitboxes. Gandorf won't be able to punish if I time it correctly. Fall back. Right. I don't like that at all. I should have countered. That was an easy counter win for me. I was not ready. Oh, oh, wow. Mega dead. He could just forward tilted. That was actually very risky, but... I mean, it worked out for him. Tech roll in this time. Trying to mix up my uh, approaches, yeah. Got him with the uh, cheeky uh, F smash right there. But yeah, really good space team from this uh, player, for sure. Looking back on this, there isn't really much that I disagree with. Thinking about it, yeah. I think he played the matchup the best he could. I think he needed to uh, be a little more aggressive, though. You have to be kind of aggressive with Gandorf. Because you have all that raw power. But a very good player, nonetheless. We got a W with both of the Corns. Had a lot of fun here today. That was uh, very, very cool. Alright, let's see what we got. We got Alucard from Castlevania. And Super Sonic. Alright, dudes. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, let me know what character you'd like to see next. And I'll uh, see you later. Alright, have a good one, dudes. And take care.